Hi everyone, and thank you for attending this portion of the third annual Vigo Health Activist Awards. This year, we've decided to hold the ceremony a little differently. We are presenting each award in its own mini ceremony, which allows us to really give our undivided attention to the incredible nominees, finalists, and of course the winner of each award. This is our last category for the third annual awards, and I am honored to be presenting the Health Activist Hero Award. My name is Kristen Moraz, and I'm one of the community coordinators here, and I've been with the company since September. I absolutely love learning about the journeys of all the health activists out there, and I'm completely inspired by their efforts. I am presenting the Health Activist Hero Award. This is a big favorite of the WeGo Health family and community. The Health Activist Hero Award is meant for someone in the community who is inspiring, supportive, and knowledgeable. The winners of this award are very active online, as well as offline, for example, attending events and conferences, educating and spreading awareness to others. They have truly impacted people's lives in more ways than one. This could be more challenging to judge since there isn't just one thing you can zoom in on, like their Facebook or Twitter page. The Health Activist Hero encompasses everything. Before I introduce all the finalists, let's hear from one of last year's winners. Hey, I'm Chad o Stewart. I was awarded last year's We Go Health's Hilarious Health Activist Award. I'm a mental health activist down here in Port Charlotte using humor as a healthy coping skill for mental health. As a cartoonist, I like to draw cartoons from my point of view, living with bipolar disorder. The idea is to use humor to cope with the serious and sometimes debilitating and many times debilitating disorders such as depression, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, things that people don't like to talk about, things that people think are too serious. But I like to show through my humor that it's okay, that we can laugh. It's okay to use humor as a healthy coping skill. Great, thanks for joining us. We love hearing from our past winners. Now it's time to meet all the great finalists for this year's Health Activist Hero Award. Our first finalist for today's award is Dana, known online as Hypothyroid Mom. Hi, I'm Dana Trentini, aka Hypothyroid Mom. I am blown away that I am a finalist for the Wago Health Health Activist Hero Award. Uh, before a year ago when I uh, first launch Hypothyroid Mom. I never blogged, never used Twitter or Facebook, um, and ever. now I have 500,000 monthly page views from readers from 180 countries in the world. On my blog, Hypothyroid Mom, my Facebook page has 2 million weekly visitors. I lost my unborn baby completely needlessly to maternal hypothyroidism. I was in New York City under the care of award-winning doctors from one of the greatest cities in the world and I thought they would know everything there was to know about hypothyroidism in pregnancy and unfortunately I discovered that they didn't. And so now with Hypothyroid Mom I'm trying to encourage people to be advocates for themselves. There's currently no universal thyroid testing in pregnancy and that is shameful. You know, um, Ellie Wiesel wrote, whoever survives a test, whatever it may be, must tell the story that is his duty. Hypothyroid mom is my story. And I feel deep within me, it is my duty to share my story so not one more baby is harmed by maternal hypothyroidism. Next up for today's award is Jean, who established Project Lifesaver. Hi, my name is Jean Saunders and I'm the founder and CEO of Project Lifesaver International. Recently, I learned that I was named as a finalist for the WeGo Health Activist Hero Award. I'm very proud of this honor and privileged to be a part of this endeavor. Project Lifesaver is a program that I founded about 14 and a half years ago in order to protect those who may wander due to Alzheimer's, autism, Down syndrome, or other disorders. What we do is train law enforcement and public safety organizations in the use of radio tracking equipment in order to track a bracelet that is placed with the person who is at risk. We also educate those agencies on how to interact and deal with those persons that they are protecting. 
I am very proud of Project Lifesaver International, and I have tried hard to spread the word about this program across the country. We are currently in 1,300 organizations in North America, including Canada, the U.S., and one government agency in Australia. The part that I am most proud of, however, is that the member agencies have accounted for over 2,700 rescues, averaging about 30 minutes without a failure. I think this nomination and this finalist position will go a long way in helping us spread the word concerning Project Lifesaver International to many other agencies that may benefit in its use. Thank you very much for this nomination and congratulations to all the other nominees. Thank you. Next up is Kelly, who is a rheumatoid arthritis, fibromyalgia, and thyroid disease health activist. I really know I'm nominated because of the work that I do with my nonprofit organization, which is the International Foundation for Autoimmune Arthritis. We're a nonprofit organization run by patients for patients, um, focusing on education, wellness, patient centered research, early detection, and treatment of autoimmune arthritis diseases. This year, I got to um, represent the American College of Rheumatology in Washington, D.C. earlier this year. Um, I went to Washington, D.C. to lobby politicians for funding more research for the National Institute of Health, um, to encourage more medical programs to provide grants for to recruit more pediatric rheumatologists. We have hundreds of thousands of kids in this country with juvenile arthritis. However, we only have 200 juvenile pediatric, pediatric rheumatologists, and that's just simply not enough to treat these beautiful children. And my nephew was recently diagnosed, and it, to me it's a very personal thing. Um, getting kids the help they need. So that's a little bit about me and, and why I, I was probably nominated for my work in advocacy with autoimmune arthritis. I am proud to be part of the International Foundation for Autoimmune Arthritis and I'm proud to be uh, a part of WECO Health and, and to get this, this nomination and I truly appreciate it and thank you so much. Our next finalist for today's award is Christy, founder of the Dream Institute. Christy formed the Dream Institute to assist the educational success of students with disabilities. Her inspiration for the Dream Institute comes from her own battle with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. Christy has advocated for those with JRA for years and has even testified before Congress, lobbying for additional research funding. Our next finalist for today's award is the Well Kiddos Foundation, which advocates for the provision of healthy food choices for children while dining in or out. The Well Kiddos Foundation is led by Manuela Seeds Hipkins, a mother of three young children. Her goal is for children to have a chance to develop lifelong healthy eating habits, and her vision is to change kids' menus in restaurants, locally and nationally, one restaurant and one family at a time. Our next finalist is Milan, who works to raise awareness of infectious hepatitis viruses. Milan works to educate people about hepatitis and fights misinformation by organizing events that raise awareness. Our next finalist is Jessica, who helps people survive chronic illness with style and humor. Jessica's blog, Fashionably Ill, is about helping sick women feel confident despite changes in their appearance. It is inspired by Jessica's experience surviving myasthenia gravis and gaining 10 dress sizes in two years. With tips on style, mental health, and advice for loved ones, Fashionably Ill is a community for people of all illnesses. Jessica also writes for askabipolar.com and has spoken at conventions for organizations like the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Our next finalist for today's award is Maria, who is an ME health activist. Last year, I started Me and You. Me and You was a crowdfunding campaign that um, wanted to crowdfund clinical research on a very promising new treatment for ME patients. In 19 days, I crowdfunded $531,000 for more than 5,000 people from 49 different nations in only 19 days. I think the most important thing I learned was that you have to make yourself visible. Because when you're visible, it's almost, almost um, impossible to overlook you. You have to find those people who 
share the same values as you have and you have to to conduct everything you do in a very positive pose and make your team the winning team you have to make everybody to feel that they are on, they are on the winning team because everybody wants to be on the winning team our last finalist for today's award is kid chef eliana kid chef eliana is a 13 year old celebrity chef cookbook author, and radio show host. My mission is to get kids and families in the kitchen together so that they can control their nutrition, eat better, and live well. I have a brand new cookbook out called Cool Kids Cook Fresh and Fit. It has nearly 30 recipes that feature fresh ingredients. It has no butter and no refined sugars. I hope that you enjoy my mission to get kids and families in the kitchen together. Cool Kids Cook now that we've had a chance to meet all the finalists for this category, it's my pleasure to announce the winner of the Health Activist Hero Award. And the winner is Dana, known online as Hypothyroid Mom. Dana uses Twitter, Facebook, and her blog to raise awareness about hypothyroidism and the dangers of having this condition while pregnant. Congratulations, Dana! Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I write hypothyroid mom in memory of my child I lost to, hypothy to hypothyroidism. And for my children, my sons, I did a whole lot of research to have my second son, and I made it. I made it, and miracle babies can happen, even for hypothyroid women. So I, I'm so honored. Thank you. Thank you. You know, if you know, if there's one baby, two babies, more babies that are born healthy and strong because of hypothyroid mom, I will know that I've done this for a reason. I, uh, there's a reason that I'm doing it, and <clears throat> really appreciate this. I, I, I'm so blown away. Like, it's only been a year and a half, and it kind of blows my mind that all these people follow me. Thank you. I just want to thank all of our nominees, our finalists, judges, and of course, our 2013 Health Activist Hero winner. And thank you for joining us for the third annual WeGo Health Activist Award Ceremony. See you next year.